Well, after losing three, the yeah. NHS will kick they in and they will finally do some explorations. They couldn't find anything in particular. Um, and then we decided um, that we would, we would try for IVF. I was, I was over 40. Time was ticking on and, and we wanted to do a sibling for our child. Um, and actually, I rolled at the IVF clinic and this has happened to a lot of women I know. I fell pregnant naturally two weeks later, having not had taken a single drug. Um, and then unfortunately that was monitored within an inch of its life. I think I was on 200 pounds worth of drugs a day to try and keep the baby alive and lost it at six, no, eight weeks. I had a six-week scan that was perfect and eight weeks I lost it again. That must mm. make the, the daughter you've got very, very special. I know we're not supposed to be, uh, you know, think that we love our own children that little bit more than mm. other people love theirs, but I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've only so managed wonderful. one, but I've managed oh, a really God. good one. The study that you've, uh, you've mentioned a couple of times, mm. it's published by the Obstetrics and Gynaecology Journal, and found that a large number of women have the wrong reasons about yes. what causes miscarriages, leads to unnecessary feelings of guilt and shame. Mm. Three quarters mistakenly believe that a stressful event could cause a miscarriage. You've had an argument with your boyfriend mm. or something. Sixty-four percent thought lifting a heavy object could uh, be a cause. Fifth, believe that previous use of oral contraceptives could cause pregnancy loss. 41% believe that it could be caused by an STD. 21% thought a pregnancy could miscarry if you got into an argument. Yeah. Um, all of those things would, <coughs> if, if, if nature took its course, um, would wouldn't. lead you to to be riddled with guilt, yes. unnecessary Well, the human guilt. race wouldn't have survived if, if those things were all true. No, exactly. And again, mm. people think often it's one glass of wine or, or, or something like that. And that's just simply not the case. And one of the reasons I think people think that is because um, they don't realise how often this happens. When I returned to work after my first miscarriage, I, I mean, I would say half a dozen women came up to me and said, I, I've, I've lost one, I've, I've lost exactly. three. Exactly. And it's that support that you then wanted to yeah. sort of hone in on yeah. and offer to other women. Exactly. The more it's women so who talk about it, and talk. men as well. But, but if you think you don't know someone who's had a miscarriage, you're completely wrong. Everybody who's watching this right now will know someone, and probably someone in their family or their immediate group of friends, mm. who has had one or even more miscarriages. And I think it's something, I'm, I've become an ambassador for the Miscarriage Association, and it's something I feel really strongly about. We need to talk about it, we need to talk about it openly and offer support and, and let people talk about it and to allay their fears so that they're not walking around, can't have 250,000 women walking around thinking they've killed their babies. I mean, that's what it comes down exactly. to. They haven't. It's, it's Mother Nature.